Sneaky YouTube family, what's happening, man? It's your boy Jake signing on with another real and fake or retail and replica comparison here, man. But before I start, I just want to thank all my new and old subscribers, man. I greatly appreciate y'all and casual, casual watchers, man. I just appreciate y'all too. And if you, you know, new watchers, if you, if you like what you see, you like my channel as a whole and the content that I um, put out there, you know, I, I greatly appreciate you guys. If you just subscribe to my channel, it keeps my channel going. It keeps me motivated. It keeps me bringing out more and more content for y'all, you know? So, uh, without further ado, let's get on with this video. But before I start, I got to do my disclaimer. Number one is for educational purposes. And this is for buying purposes. It's not for, you know, pointing out, calling out people for wearing fake or replica shoes. That's not my purpose. My purpose is for, you know, making sure uh, to protect the consumer from buying something like this. Even though this isn't a high price shoe, you know, it's all good. You know, it's shoes like going under retail are like seven, eight dollars over retail at StockX and GOAT uh, and so on and so forth. So, but I secured this pair from Foot Locker. And I just, you know, I ordered these before I even secured these from Foot Lock. I, I had a feeling I was going to get them. If not, I was going to get them off the sneakers app. They sat for a while before um, all the standard sizes sold out. One last disclaimer. We all know the no-brainer. Both shoes are produced in China. Same factory? Eh, nah. I'm going to prove a point right now. Soon enough. So let's get started with this. We'll put the kicks over to the side and we're gonna start with the box. Ah, both boxes are generally the same size. This is the fake box. Both boxes are beat up. I was upset with Foot Locker that they gave me the beat up box. The fake box, the fake box is a little darker. Look at the tags. This is the fake one. Get a good look at that. And this this comes off a little bit, so this tag's a bit smaller. And the print it's a little smaller and the sticker, the, the paper is not as transparent as as this one. And like I say, this box is a little darker. This has a little more of a pale. And this one has more of a sheen to it. Inside this box has a stamp and a Nike swoosh. This one has the Nike swoosh, but no stamp. Papers are basically the same. There's no anti-mold sticker in here or PC sticker. And the same goes for this one. Enough of the boxes. Let's get on with these kicks. I'm going to tell you straight up. These came in today. And when I looked at them initially, I was like, man, this got to be a one to one. I really thought so. I looked at it, I was like, oh my gosh, this shoe is beautiful. Then it's not. Then I pulled this one out. And you can only tell when you put both of them side by side, you know, next to each other. And then you can start doing the comparison. So, first of all, fake pair, of course, that came laced. And there's a tag from a certain factory that produced it. So, let's go with the real kick. It's gonna be a review too because I didn't do a review on this. You see all the detail on it, the swoosh. Around on it. Tree. So inside. Air. This one has QR code, baby. All right. Real one. Red 
laces nice and tight. Stitching. I mean, you can tell just from here. I'm sorry. I, I'm just gonna have to do this right here. That look at that toe box compared to the, the toe box is a whole lot longer than the retail authentic pair, and the the soles are a different color. This one's a, like a lighter color of sail. I'm gonna go around just get a general look, and I say they came laced. Go around on it. Now, let's review. It's a completely different construct shoe. You see from on the uh Ankle support, you can see that this part here is longer. This whole upper part is bigger. It almost reminds me of the classic 85 Jordan shoe is, is what they modeled it after and not the this new style that Nike currently does. So I actually like this one better because it has that OG high top look to it. Look around the back. Doesn't have that hourglass look. You can see that it's the, the real shoe is a lot larger from the rear. The lines are cleaner. Actually, it's just different color reds on it as well. And that lean test. And this shoe like rocks all over the place. And the sheen is a little bit different. So they basically made their own shoe. It's gonna be difficult. Let's look at the uh, shoe tree on this one. 10 and a half to 12. It's just like the Cactus Jacks. Just like the Cactus Jacks. But nobody cares about that, right? Let's keep it going. Everything looks pretty much replicated, identical. Let's see if it has a QR code in this one. And people, this one does not have a QR code in it. Nike Air on the inside, size 12 sticker. Stitching falls a little short right here. Compared to the retail pair. You could definitely see the, the differences in the sale. This shoe is a little smaller. They, they can never get that scale. A lot of people like saying one-to-one, one-to-one. -one. I have not found a one-to-one -one replica as of yet. But the leather quality is nice. But you can see here, look how soft that is. It's not as soft as, this one's not as soft. You guys see that? That lean test. fake shoe. I don't know if that's healthy to be walking on all day. They consider this their God product. Let's 
I mean, but I mean, they do their job. They captured the essence of the shoe. Definitely give them credit. Let's see if I can get inside of here and get into the stitching, get into the sole. Pull this out. And unfortunately, the fake shoe is missing lace bag. Let's see the quality of the soles here. Wow, actually the fake sole is a little bit thicker. Look at the size differences on here. Push these big boys out the way. I'm actually thinking that the fake shoe might be a bit more comfortable with that much cushioning in that insole. I say, show the inside of the fake one. And I gotta show the inside of the real one. Where it is basically just about identical. There's that QR code again. Real shoe. Can this kill the myth that they're all made in the same factory with this gorgeous shoe factory? There's actually videos of them producing their own shoes. So let's kill that. Listen, someone can just, if someone was selling this on the street at a consignment store or anything like that, I'm done with you at a consignment shop or anything like that, no one's gonna tell the difference. No one will tell the difference. No one's gonna do a lean test or, or anything like that. I would say the same thing over and over with these Jordan 1s, especially with the replica Jordan 1s. They're always a scale larger, always. Either it's the toe box or this side part right here. And they'll never have that hourglass look in the back either. Do you see that? Do you see that, people? Look at the construct on that one. The sole is oversized, and look how it slants in. And look how this one, the real one, curves in, and the sole is completely flat. Can't get any different than that. Just wanted to prove a point that these shoes are not the same. Are not the same. You want something to fool around with, play around with? Here, get these. But always go retail if you can. I'm impressed with these though. I, I definitely won't lie. I'm impressed with these. The materials, the way they were made. The construct, they, they put a lot of effort into this, very much. But you just gotta be careful with these things. Let's look at the, uh, before, I, before I end this, let's look at the Jumpman logo. Not the Jumpman logo, but the uh, Wings logo. And you can see the different shade and finish on it. There you have it, folks. This is my real and fake review of the Jordan 1 Gym Red. Missing the lace bags on this one. Leaning rocks like crazy. I was impressed initially when I, when I opened it, but then once I did the review, okay, I can see a, a, a ton of flaws and there's a lot more flaws on it. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I appreciate all y'all. Let me know what you think about this shoe. I like your feedback. Everybody, I have a good one. This is your boy Jake signing out. Peace out.